All right, guys, we're uh, coming to you live. Here it is, almost 10.30 tonight. And we're still at the shop. Just got through installing a gas roof pump for David Dyke uh, out of South Carolina. We put him the uh, AR-45 gas roof pump on here with the uh, proportioner system. So we got him all fixed up. I just turned your bleach on a little bit, David. I, I turned it on, turned it off. Hey, David, shoot that thing up in the air. Let them see it. There you go, guys. <laughs> what do you think about it, David? So there we go, guys. David's got an eight gallon minute. I sold him that 10 gallon last week. So now he's got the AR 45. Got the soap tape. Everything's hooked up. So he's running the uh, aluminum trailer. But this jugger here, boy, it's got some pep to it. That thing's got some pep to it, don't it? Was it neat? Still leaking a little bit? Yeah, it leaks a little bit. Alright, so what we're gonna do, so hold that, get my screwdriver, show you guys something real quick. Alright, turn around that way. I let off, so quit leaking. All right, that's how you do it. You think you can get some apartments washed with this? Yeah. Good that pressure. Air diaphragm in the trash. Yeah, we took off the uh, air diaphragm. This is what we, this is what he had on here, guys. So he was running this with the air diaphragm. So we took this off his trailer and uh, put the AR-45 on. He got in here this afternoon about 7.30, 9.30, 10.30, so almost two hours. Now, David, what you want to do is squeeze your handle and cut your key off. There you go. Guys, when you cut these things off, always squeeze your handle, let off that back pressure. So, all right, anyway, just want to kind of bring you up to date where we at, let y'all see what we've been doing tonight. And uh, David was kind of shocked of all the plumbing that you have to do. So, I mean, by the time you get through plumbing these things, it's a lot. So that goes to a soap tank right there, straight from a soap tank. Some of you guys asked me how close you have to be from the bleach. Well, let me show you this. So here's the manifold, and his bleach tank is back here on the back side. So what we did, we put a one inch uniseal up top, run that straight to the bottom. So it's pulling fine. Uh, we got his little remote and a lanyard. So that's ready to roll. Yeah, I'll show it to him. Yep. So I sold him the uh, AR-45. He got the deluxe manifold with a remote. Uh, show you all that. So it works real good. So 
we got that going on and the 10 gallon a minute over here and david you like this 10 gallon don't you done with eight it's a game changer in it mm -hmm. so guys this is who we are this is what we do uh i'm not against the air diaphragm i'm not against the uh 12 volt i think they're great for certain guys but you know when you get ready to do the big volume guys this is what you got to get to and you can do you know you can do these jobs with the smaller machines it just takes you longer but eventually, as your business grows, you've got to move up to this stuff that moves the water fast, moves the chemical, gets stuff done so you can get in and get out. All right, Mike, I'll be waiting on you, brother. But uh, he's got the ag hose. Everything's ready to roll. What you got to do tomorrow? You got a big job tomorrow? Uh, root washing hotel. A hotel? Yeah. So you're ready for it now, aren't you? <laughs> what you gonna do with this diaphragm pump back here so there's the diaphragm huh so there's what he had on there guys it done a great job it's just you know sometimes you got to move up a little bit so guys uh let me show y'all how david does his david dual feeds his pressure washers so some of you might want to do that, dual feed them. And uh, you get more water flow. But there's the AR-45. There's your 25-foot bypass hose right there. Uh, goes to the manifold. There's the back side of the manifold. So we're all set up, guys. He's ready to roll. All right, just want to see, let y'all see what we're doing. Uh, some guy want to know, Tim Cook wants to know where you bought your trailer. I bought it out of Virginia. Out of um, Virginia? I can't remember the name of the company, but you can show them a little tag where they can yeah, manufacture a tag. I'll show y'all the manufacturing tag. This, uh, this nice trailer, I started to buy it from him. I probably still will buy it now that I got it like I want it. He'll be ready to sell it to me next couple of weeks. Where's it at, David? Oh, right there? Yeah, that's right there. All right, right there. That's who we got it from, guys. So there you go. Carry on Corporation Trailers. Virginia. Livonia, Georgia. There you go. Uh, so if you go do those big jobs more, bring it back to me and I'll buy it from you. Oh, God. <laughs> You got it where I want it now, see? Now you got that old air diaphragm off of it and got that big old stupid compressor off of it. And now, now you can work. Now you can get something done. Would the bypass have to be that long of a hose? Most definitely, Adam. That is, see, this is what revolutionized these gas roof pumps, guys, is this bypass right here. So yes, you definitely need 25 foot. Because if you don't have 25 foot, it's not going to bypass correctly. It's going to overheat. And you want this rib toes with the reinforced PVC in it. And I run that on everything. That way, you don't have to worry about uh, your hose busting. I don't like that old braided hose, especially on the suction hose, because all it does is collapse. So this is the kind of hose you need. If you're going to run the hose, run this good hose. All right, guys. We'll catch you guys later. How's it going, Darren? Appreciate you always tuning in, brother, watching everything. Oh, you did that. It worked for yours? Oh, that's the, oh, that's the shirts. Okay. So he's got the shirts box. So this is where he's got it set up. He can downstream. Or he could use uh, the remote control, you know, manifold that I've got. So either way, he's set up. You could actually run, you run three guys off this trailer easy, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You could put one downstreaming, one on the gas roof pump, and one doing surface cleaning if you wanted to. Yeah. So. I don't think the tank's big enough. 
Appreciate that, dear. Yeah, the tank, I mean, you'll need a bigger tank for that, but that, this is a sweet little setup right here, guys. All right, we're gonna roll. We'll let y'all go. Just wanted to show you what we was doing tonight. Y'all have a good night. We'll talk to y'all later.